Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Yet again, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, if you have been paying attention to NYNews.com, you heard me say that the Yankees would sweep the Angels. You heard me say that the Yankees would take three out of four from the Astros. So let's take the Yeezy approach. Let's take the Kanye West approach. I love to say it, but I told you so. So, Yankees fans, what are my predictions? What is my analysis for this up-and-coming series against the Indians? I think the Yankees might sweep the Indians, and I say might for the simple fact that we have Sonny Gray taking the mound on Saturday. I know I sound like a Sonny Gray hater, but I'm being realistic. The only question mark that I see on this team, I've said it for a long time, is Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray's last start, if you see my videos, he almost imploded, not once, not twice, but three times. He faced a team in the Astros who were offensively struggling. They left many men on base. So, if Sonny Gray pitches well, I hope he does, then we can really say, wow, Sonny Gray is improving. But if he has a subpar start, like last start, Sure, the game was what, 0-2, to two, something like that? But like I said, he almost got lit up, and we saw the typical Sonny Gray outing. So let's hope for the best. Let's see if Sonny Gray actually pitches a legit game where he doesn't walk the first batter, where the first batter in the inning doesn't get a hit, the bases get loaded, he's working out of jams, or he doesn't, he doesn't get lucky. So that's what I see with Sonny Gray still. So this is why I say the Yankees might sweep the Indians, or they went two out of three. But the Yankees are playing so good right now that we might just see Sonny Gray and the Yankees come out with a win if even Sonny Gray has a subpar start. Also, around the majors, the D-backs lose two straight. Like I said, the D-backs have been playing teams off to a bad start. I don't expect the D-backs to keep first place by, let's say, the deadline. I think they're just like a playoff team like last year. Last year, J.D. Martinez carried that team, and I expect uh, Patrick Corbin to fall off a bit. If the D-backs become sellers, I can see the D-backs selling Patrick Corbin and keeping Goldschmidt to, let's say, still make a push to the playoffs as obviously a wild card team. So, Yankees fans, I got bashed by Diamondback fans saying, oh, my God. The D-backs are running away with first place in the NL West. I said, hey, don't talk too soon. Here comes the Rockies. Even the Giants can make a push. And I expect, and we all should expect, the Dodgers to be in that conversation soon. Like I said, all these teams have gotten off to a bad start. So, yeah, expect the Diamondbacks to be sellers for Patrick Corbin. Do the Yankees buy? In my opinion, they shouldn't. They'll be a... Crazy haul for Patrick Corbin. If the Yankees make a trade for a pitcher come the deadline, make a trade for an ace that is locked up for years to come. And I think the Yankees are going to trade for a pitcher that nobody has talked about. Some under the radar that you never expected to be traded come deadline or maybe the hype starts picking up come trade deadline. I think the Yankees might acquire that kind of pitcher that Nobody expected, nobody to trade for. Let's say, I'm going to give you an example, but it's not going to be him, or maybe, because the Seattle Mariners are playing well. But let's say they become a under 500 team and they're out of it. King Felix Hernandez. That's the sort of left field idea that I see the Yankees taking come deadline. Plugging a proven ace to their already great team. Let's say it is a King Felix. Do the Yankees make a trade with the Mariners where the Mariners eat maybe 35% of his contract? I could see something like that because the Yankees have a lot to offer. And King Felix is signed to win 2020, something like that. And he still has gas in the tank. He's won a couple of games here and there. It's the sort of picture that the Mariners, if they fall out, of the playoff race, you can see Felix Hernandez be traded to a team. I know it sounds crazy, but this is the sort of pitcher that the Yankees are going to target come trade deadline. Somebody that, that you didn't expect 
So just imagine making a trade for Felix Hernandez and plugging him, let's say, to pitch in your third or fourth slot. That's a deadly rotation. Even though Felix Hernandez has fallen off a bit, plugging him in that spot for this season and the full season of 2019, that's a good rotation. That's a rotation that can take you far into the playoffs and even win you a championship. I mean, the Yankees, as of now, are a championship team. And stay tuned to my next video. I will explain why. So, Yankees fans, yet again, it's been Felix from Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.